Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have four um, wines in front of me, which I, I suppose they're, we're on southern France heading up the Rhone Valley. Uh, not too far up the Rhone Valley. We've got uh, two from the southern Rhone, and then we've got two from uh, uh, really down on the coast. Uh, and uh, uh, first one we are going to have is Picpoul de Pinay, uh, which is, this particular one for La Croix Gratio, uh, 2011 vintage, weighing in at a... Um, Fresh and lively, hopefully, 12.5%. Little bit of lime, little bit of herb, a little bit of uh, stony minerality. Um, it smells like it's going to be... Um, it, it, it's strange. I've, 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 I've seen some pick pulls in, uh, uh, in, in recent years that have almost got a little bit too much flesh for their own good. You, you, they lose some of that briny tension. But here, it feels like it's going to be on that lighter, crisper, um, perkier side. It smells good. Quite rounded and plump. Um, and I think part of that is, um, it, 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 I reckon Pickpool's a wine that you need to drink the summer after the vintage, and uh, we're at the summer plus a few more months here, so I'd, I'd almost be wanting to uh, dig into the 2012 more than this. Smells good, maybe it's just a little bit too much richness uh, for, for the 2011 at the moment. N not that it's not a good wine, have I got my negatives the right way around? Uh, I do like it, but I think it would have been better last summer. Good though. Wine number two is from the same um, uh, same winery, uh, La Croix Gratio, uh, but this is their 2011 Roussan uh, Pays uh, Debo. Give it a whirl. Now I don't know whether this is from vineyards nearby um, for the, the Pigpool de Pinot ones, but there is something of a salty tang in here. Uh, but then there's the uh, Roussan, Roussan, Roussan character, uh, and I always think of Roussan as, as having a, a little bit of pear, a little bit of apricot, and this, but this muskiness as, about it. Uh, when you get that, when you bite into some pears, and you get that slight gritty texture, um, I, I always think of that. Uh, can you smell the texture? I can. Um, but it, yes, it, it reminds me of that. Feels like um, it's the same vintage as the, uh, as the pig pool. Still smells fresh. And then when you come to taste it, that's when the weight comes through. Uh, so you're getting this, uh, uh, the, the, yes, that, more of that muskiness, the peach. Uh, there's definitely something of the soil coming through here, uh, this earthiness. And uh, a clay-like mineral character as well as the, uh, uh, the, the stoniness. And um, so whereas the, uh, for the pick pool, I'd say that uh, uh, the, the extra time from the, the summer just after the vintage maybe hasn't been as kind to it. Here, it's actually worked in its flavour and um, it's got, it, it, that flesh works well with the wine. Uh, nice wine and um, yeah, Roussel, a pretty interesting grape variety. And a grape variety that also features in the next two wines which is why I put them next to each other. Uh, so we are heading into the Southern Rhone here with uh, Lirac uh, from Domaine de la Modore, 2010, La Reine des Bois. Give it a whirl. And this is more exotic, but also more floral. Uh, so there's some of that muskiness that's coming in, uh, but um, I mean, I've, I've had a look on the, on the back label and it's got five grape varieties in there. First one listed is Viognier, and maybe it's that um, uh, slight apricot kernel of, uh, of, v of Viognier that, uh, that is carrying uh, the aromas at the moment. It does feel like there's more going on behind and almost feels like there's more uh, terroir character, more, more life beyond fruit coming through here. Weight, spice, and peachy presence. Um, it's got there's some grapes in here that are giving the fatness, so it's got Grenache Blanc in there and Viognier, which I think was as being the plump ones. Uh, then it's got some Roussan, which, as we saw with the one before, giving maybe a little more exotic, musky character. And then it's got two other grapes: uh, Claret and is it Bourbon and Claret? Yeah. Um, no, no, it's Marsan and Claret. Actually, Marsan's another uh, grape that. Uh, uh, that can actually be, uh, give a little fatness and muskiness to the wine. Uh, so maybe it's the claret that is holding it all together and sort of like a, a tightrope through all these slightly uh, fuller, fleshier flavours. Fuller, fleshier flavours, I could just about say that. Um, so really nice wine. Um, whenever I've got wines like this, and uh, we'll see with the next one, Chateauneuf du Pape, uh, I, I'm in two minds that you think, oh, is there something there that will develop? Uh, I think um, I've got to the con come to the conclusion that wines like this, I actually prefer them on the younger side. So whereas they do, they do taste nice when they're five, six, seven years old and sometimes even older, um, I prefer them here where there's still that freshness of fruit. Um, and um, yes, and very nicely aromatic and uh, uh, it makes me want to think I'd, I'd, I'd like something, a fish and creamy sauce and uh, hoover a lot of that up. 
Final wine. Um, this, I suppose, is a big brother. Uh, Domaine Chant Cigale 2011 Chateau Neuf du Pape. Uh, so, uh, oh, we've got, it's got on the back here, Grenache Blanc, Clairette, Roussin and Bourboulanc. That was where I was getting the Bourboulanc from, so uh, let's give this one a whirl. Now this smells a little, um, uh, well, fresher, it's a, it's a year younger, uh, but perkier and more herbs, uh, more of the, uh, yeah, more of that, that, that um, the, 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 the garrigue is, is what they associate with, with the Languedoc rather than the Rhone, but it's that, the idea of, um, uh, of, of those hillside herbs, I get more of that character here. Bit of spice, again, peach, pear, and a, maybe a little bit of citrus freshness as well, but um, it's more on that uh, uh, not fruit, not necessarily to the fore, more of a bit of the soil and a bit of the, those herbs. Nice wine. Um, it, you can feel that there is richness there, but uh, there, is, there are these, uh, some of the grapes seem to be raining it in, and I think some of that herby minerality is also uh, uh, making sure it doesn't go too wobbly. Um, I, um, I I like both of those. I mean, I, the, the Lyrac is probably a richer, uh, but more solid, more stolid. I don't know. This one, the, the, the Chancigal, seems a bit more, a little bit more dainty on its feet. Uh, but it may just be that, that it's that uh, that because uh, uh, it's a year younger. I like both of them, and um, I'm in two minds which I'll have a glass of with my uh, dinner this evening. I will see you soon.